Top 10 Scariest Ghost Videos on YouTube 10. Japanese Hospital Ghost This scary Japanese ghost video was originally uploaded by YouTube user, Lawrence. The video shows a Japanese journalist showing interest in the abandoned Kaishin Hospital, because it has become popular among spirit photographers. She interviews a man who has been into the abandoned hospital before. He states that he saw a couple of strange things and dropped his camera there after running out scared. The journalist and her film crew decided to go back to the Kaishin hospital to try and retrieve the camera. What they catch on camera, many people believe is the ghost of a female nurse. さあ、今日はちょっと怖いところに来てます。こちらは数年前に倒産した病院なんですが、なんとこの中で写真を撮ると必ず不思議なものが映るということで地元の若者たちの間で話題になっている場所なんです。その不思議なものっていうのは一体
This next scary video comes from Monterrey, Mexico. According to the story, a man was murdered on the street of Ave del Paraiso, San Nicolas de los Garza, Nuevo Leon. He was taken to the scene aboard a car, and his perpetrators shot him at point-blank range. He passed away just as the ambulance arrived to pick him up. The roadside cross now marks the site of the tragic event. But here's where things get strange. Drivers began to realize that every time they drive by this roadside cross while listening to radio station 690 AM, their car stereo reception was interrupted, interrupted by the unexplainable sound of an ambulance siren. Ya vemos la cruz ahí. No mames, güey. No mames, güey. Ahí está la cruz. No mames, güey. No mames. Ya está. No mames, güey. Ahí vamos. Por allá está la cruz. Está lento, está lento, más lento, más lento. A la madre. Ahí está la cruz. Está la cruz. Dale, dale. So, is there something supernatural tied to the death on the road? 
you decide. 8. The Watts Family Home If you caught the Netflix documentary American Murder, The Family Next Door, now you caught a bunch of disturbing, frightening footage. A seemingly normal American dad killing his wife and kids will send chills down anyone's spine. While the facts themselves are gruesome enough, a YouTuber claims there's some supernatural creepiness at play, too. American Murder, The Family Next Door covers the gruesome Watts murders. In the early hours of August 13, Chris Watts strangled his wife Shannon Watts in their home, and then murdered their two daughters. He's currently serving life in prison without parole. Chris Watts's wife was 15 weeks pregnant with their unborn son, Nico. Chris Watts drove Shannon's body, and his two daughters, Bella and Celeste to an oil site, where he strangled his children. He dumped the bodies and pretended they were missing, lying to authorities before being caught. In American Murder, The Family Next Door, dash cam footage, social media videos, and security camera footage are exclusively used to weave the narrative of the Chris Watts murders. In dash cam footage from Frederick Police's first welfare check after Shannon Watts went missing, one attentive viewer thought he saw a ghost. Although most of the comments were skeptical, one commenter claimed that Atkinson's daughter wasn't at the welfare check, only her son was. There's also footage from two women police officers with a dog in a closet in which the officers clearly heard a little girl's giggle. One of the officers said oh my gosh, what was that? In this video, AK-9 unit sniffs through Shannon Watts's closet to try and pick up her scent. Ten second in, one of the officers hears a giggle. She asks her partner to stand in the closet and see where the sound came from about 20 seconds into the video. Do you believe Shannon Watts and her children still haunt her house? Due to the gruesome events, no one has bought it, so the house in Frederick Co. remains empty, unless there are ghosts. Let us know if you think the Watts house is haunted in the comments. Seven. Ghost Metro Train in Moscow, Metro Station Polozayevskia. This video shows a ghost train stopping off at Metro Station Polozayevskia, and a strange man leaving from it. So, is this a ghost train caught on CCTV? You decide.
6. A cry from the dead. Scary. After it became known that the Guatemalan host Vivian Vasquez had died in a tragic accident, now lurid details of the place where the 26-year-old girl lost her life have emerged. Some people claim that her voice can be heard. Through Telemundo Suelta La Sopa official Instagram account, a post taken from La Lengua social networks has been shared, where the following can be read, people hear a terrifying sound in the place where the corpse is. So, is this Vivian Vasquez's spirit crying out from beyond the grave? You decide. 5. Body of a Pig Truly frightening EVP recorded in a secret location during my tenure as special guest and resident expert with a group that I cannot name. My association with the group ended due to reasons I cannot legally disclose. But, as I am the bigger man, I wish them well. Exactly the, like the one over there, look. Misty. Four. Angry Grandpa. Angry Grandpa is a famous YouTuber with 4.69M subscribers. In one of his videos, people claim that he might have captured a ghost on camera. <laughs> Turn that motherfucker off. Oh, damn. They're going to your house because you had another stroke. <laughs> A small childlike head can be seen looking at angry grandpa from behind a bin before disappearing out of sight. So, is this a child ghost caught on camera? You decide. 3 haunted wheelchair moves by itself. This security guard was monitoring a shut-down area of the hospital, which doesn't ever have anyone there, when he catches this wheelchair seemingly move all by itself. See? See, I fucking don't. No, 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 no. So, is this a haunted wheelchair caught on camera? You decide. 2. Ghost rides his old wheelchair in hospital. 
Hospital staff were stunned after security cameras recorded a dead man's wheelchair moving on its own. So, is this a ghost riding his old wheelchair for the last time? You decide. 1. Robert the Doll Robert the Doll is an allegedly haunted doll exhibited at the East Martello Museum. Robert was once owned by Key West, Florida, painter and author Robert Eugene Otto. The doll originally belonged to Robert Eugene Otto, an artist described as eccentric, who belonged to a prominent Key West family. The doll was reportedly manufactured by the Stiff Company of Germany, purchased by Otto's grandfather while on a trip to Germany in 1904, and given to young Otto as a birthday gift. The doll's sailor suit was likely an outfit that Otto wore as a child. The doll remains stored in the Otto family home at 534 Eaton Street in Key West while Otto studied art in New York and Paris. Otto married Annette Parker in Paris on May 3, 1930. The couple returned to the Otto family home in Key West to live there until Otto died in 1974. His wife died two years later. After their deaths, the Eaton Street home containing the doll was sold to Myrtle Reuter, who owned it for 20 years until the property was sold to the current owners, who operate it as a guest house. In 1994, the doll was donated to the East Martello Museum in Key West, Florida, where it eventually became a popular tourist attraction. It is annually rotated to the old post office and custom house in October. According to legend, the doll has supernatural abilities that allow it to move, change its facial expressions, and make giggling sounds. Some versions of the legend claim that a young girl of Bahamian descent gave Otto the doll as a gift or as retaliation for a wrongdoing. Other stories claim that the doll moved voodoo figurines around the room, and was aware of what went on around him. Still other legends claim that the doll vanished after Otto's house changed ownership a number of times after his death, or that young Otto triggered the doll's supernatural powers by blaming his childhood mishaps on the doll. According to local folklore, the doll has caused car accidents, broken bones, job loss, divorce and a cornucopia of other misfortunes, and museum visitors supposedly experience post-visit misfortunes for failing to respect Robert. In this 2011 video, many people claim to see Robert the doll blinking on camera. So, is Robert the doll haunted? You decide. 